In this example, we're going to acquire and decode some data from a SPI bus. SPI stands for Serial Peripheral Interface Bus. In fact, it was invented by Motorola and is a synchronous serial data link. And it's in its standard form is a four-wire system, although two- and three-wire systems are in use. The present system is connected to three wires, so channel A is connected to the uh, clock line, channel B is connected to the data line, and channel C is connected to the chip select line. The user can connect any probe to the uh, data or clock or chip select line, and then it can be set up correctly in the tools menu. So in the serial decode, we can choose from the input channel which is the data so in my case I've connected the data to channel B so I'm going to set channel B as my spy data source and then automatically the system allocates channel A as the clock and in fact we can then define the chip select line as channel C. The uh, thresholds have to be set correctly and in fact that they will be fine for this particular system in the settings menu, we can set up any special settings for the SPI bus, the uh, clock line, the rising and falling edge of the clock, uh, chip select line active, high or low, the number of data bytes, and the least and most significant uh, byte order. These obviously depend on the particular system being decoded. The Data can be viewed in the acquisition window or in a separate window. So if, for current, I'll leave it in the uh, acquisition window. And here is a recommendation for the record length, which only needs to be 1.9 kilobytes. So I'm going to decrease my record length to keep the system uh, decoding uh, more quickly. So here we can see now we're acquiring some data. So I'm going to put the uh, trigger to single shot. So now we can acquire data. Uh, so the decode is going unknown. It needs at least two packets of uh, data to decode correctly. So I'm going to increase my uh, time window to 100 microseconds per division and then make an acquisition. And here now we have two uh, frames of data. So the first one is uh, decoded as frame 1, it's data uh, 07, and the uh, second packet, in fact, is the unknown packet. So if we uh, increase the uh, record length to 200 microseconds, then we'll get uh, several packets. So I'm going to change now the view to a dedicated window for the decoded data. So unselect the acquisition window and select a separate window. Now here we see the uh, three bytes of decoded data and every time we take a new acquisition we'll acquire different data bytes. The uh, toolbar is exactly the same as for the uh, other decoding systems and has been described in the introduction to the serial decode uh, section.